YouTube and welcome back to The Sims 2 in Blue Water Village here with me, T Addict. Hope you guys are doing fan freaking fantastic today. Hope you are well. Oh my gosh, Cora Townsend is apparently sneaking up to our front door right now. I'm not really sure what she's doing. She might be about to steal our newspaper. I think she might be mad at us, which is kind of funny because she's meant to be our future missus. But um, yeah, no, we're back in Blue Water Village with Malcolm Landgrab. You guys know me. You know that I love me a little bit of Malcolm Landgrab. And apparently, so does my sim self, Bethy, as we discovered when we were playing the Retirement Village. These two have three freaking lightning bolts of attraction Oh my god. Now, um, I had a look at the comments and you guys are pretty split on whether or not you would like to see Bethy get with Malcolm Landgrab. Uh, a lot of you guys are saying it might be really fun to like see them hook up and have an illegitimate child, but that Bethy should find someone a bit better than Malcolm for the long run. For the long run, what? For the long haul. Um... And yeah, not actually like marry him or whatever, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm I'm kind of like down for the whole idea of not marrying Malcolm Landgrab. Um, although it would be funny. Maybe it's kind of given me the um the idea of doing it in maybe another save file one day, <laughs> just to see what it's like. Because <laughs> I honestly have always loved a bit of Malcolm Landgrab, so you know, like it could be fun. It could be. Fun. And have my sim self marry him in one in one playthrough but before all that happened all of that madness we were actually pursuing Cora Townsend for our future wife who is back, apparently back for more mischief that's fine um we did go out on a date with her last uh, episode, last part. Um, it didn't go super duper well. Like first we accidentally stood her up and then I don't think she liked us very much, which is why she's currently obsessed with stealing out all of our newspapers. Do we have a bin? Yeah, we have a trash can that's up there. Okay, well, she's probably going to try to knock that over at some point today, which isn't ideal. Um, but yeah, no, so we are going to continue to work on pursuing Cora. A lot of you guys in the comments were pretty positive about Cora. You kind of like the matchup of Cora and Malcolm, so that's something we'll definitely keep pursuing. But before we go ahead and continue romancing all of the ladies, we need to get ourselves some more cash monies. Now, Malcolm Landgrab, right, is supposed to be this super duper rich dude, but he's really not. Um, <laughs> he really doesn't have that much money right now. And something I was reminded of while we were playing the Florence Della Rosa part um, is that Malcolm has actually kind of promised Florence that he is going to help her out. Um, you can see right now he has the want to hire her Florence as an employee. And I'm kind of going to lock that and I'm going to interpret that as you know Malcolm wants to um follow through on his kind of half promise to uh buy her a business and have him work sorry have her work kind of under the land grab banner if you will um I think is is kind of what I want to say is going on here um yeah so he's meant to be like footing the bill for her to buy an external business um, and we can, do not currently have enough money to do that, which is really, really awkward. So we need to try to haul like some serious cash monies in to this, like through this business in this part. Now, another thing that I did in the last part with Malcolm Landgrab was I actually renovated uh, the Electronics Supercenter, which you can see here. We, we've made it super duper modern. We've got a whole new layout. Eventually, I would also like to build on another level and go upstairs. Uh, but obviously, for now, um, this is what we've got. But something that I, was, I, I did, and then I was kind of asking you guys what you thought about it, was I put in these bathrooms over here, and then I was like, you know what? Wait a minute. Most electronics stores wouldn't really have a bathroom, Right? Right. So why do we have to have public bathrooms here in this business? I think it is just silly. And so what I am actually going to do is I'm actually going to pause really quickly and I am going to um, transform this area here into the staff room. All right. And we are going to have it so that basically... Um, this little space over here, this was meant to be the staff room, is now just going to be maybe Malcolm's office or something like that. Um, and then, yeah, this down here is going to be the staff room with just a staff toilet, um, which anyone can use. Because, yeah, it actually makes no sense whatsoever to have a... A, 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 what am I trying to say? Yeah, a public bathroom in an electronic super center. Like it just, it just wouldn't really happen. So yeah, basically we are just going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to just transform this little room over here. 
into that. Um, and then, yeah, I, I don't mind the idea of this being like an office for Malcolm, but um, I think for now, I'm just going to leave it as a little bit of a blank space. We might end up putting a staircase over here. Oh, Malcolm, you need to stop using that, buddy. Um, yeah, we might end up putting a bit of a staircase in over here. Oh, I've trapped him in the room. <laughs> when we are ready to build up another level um which shouldn't be too far away honestly it should be yeah in the not too distant future and actually you know what i'm thinking is what we should do is we should just this is when i wish i was in the sims 4 oh i just said it but i wish i could just grab the wall and drag it yeah that would make my life a lot easier because essentially i just want to extend this little area back this way by like one um which is going to be difficult to do because I'm going to have to move everything manually. Okay, Malcolm, honey, I need you to come out here. Why don't you work on some sales, buddy? Let's do some basic selling. All right, I need you to get some cash monies up in here. Okay, cool. Now let's just quickly jump back in here. And what I'm going to do is just put a wall in there. Um, and then we are going to move these. Oh, it's in use because someone's looking at it. Dang it. I was really hoping that wasn't going to happen. Um, we're going to move those there. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait. Gotta, gotta get all that money back. <laughs> like so. And then, yeah, eventually we'll put a staircase in back here, um, which will be quite nice, I think. And, oh, actually, I might just move that window to the side here. Yeah, and then once this guy has hopefully bought this TV, we can just finish off doing that little change. Um, and I'm just going to as well just make sure this door is still, uh, yeah, household household and employees only. That is what we want. Okay, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I love this. Okay, and now, yeah, we've got a little bit more floor space. We can put the staircase in over here when we're ready to go up to the next level. And all is going to be wonderful and stupendous. Okay, so we have Eleanor as well here, who is our manager. So we can technically leave this business um, unattended if we want to. Also, is Benjamin? Yeah, Benjamin's here. Okay. Why don't you get him to... Oh, is he is he restocking? What is he doing? He just like ran inside and it was very strange. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what Benjamin Long is doing. Does anybody ever know what Benjamin Long is doing? Liz, that's the real question. Okay, sweet. So we have now got this. So I can... Whoop. I can just... Hopefully it'll let me... Hello? There you go. No. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so I can do that. Okay. And then, yeah, now we've got all this extra space over here. So I can actually just, like, spread this stuff out a little bit more, get a little bit more room. Of course, everyone's currently looking at all of the stuff, which makes it a little difficult to do that. But eventually, I will be able to do that. Okay, sure. So why don't we continue dazzling, because we're Malcolm Landgrab, and that's the only way to sell things when your name is Malcolm Landgrab. And you need to make a crap ton of money! Oh, why can't I restock the TV that's meant to be there? I don't know. That's not ideal. It's disappeared. Huh. Has it really? It's just completely gone. Okay, no worries. We'll just put a different type of TV there. Whatever. Okay, you gonna buy that, buddy? Great job. Proud of you. Okay, and then Malcolm... Oh, Benjamin is literally running to do his restocking today. That is actually hilarious to me. Oh, this guy decided not to buy the super expensive computer. Okay, Malcolm, we need to come and keep dazzling because we need to make all of the money today. All right, buddy? No slacking off, no playing pinball when we've got all of this stock to move. Someone's looking at that stereo. Okay, that's fine. Because we do need to move all of this stock as quickly as we possibly can and as uh, efficiently as we possibly can so that we can get paid all of the money and then hire Florence and make Florence work for us. <laughs> Evil Malcolm Landgrab. No, as I've said quite a few times, I don't actually think that Malcolm Landgrab is that evil, guys. I think he's just ruthless and dastardly and cunning and brilliant. <laughs> okay, let's come over here and let's do a basic sell. What are you doing, honey? You, uh, oh, you are not a happy Sam. Can we just like, there you go, be happier. Okay, cool. Let's actually send Benjamin on a break. Oh, well, we can't because he's apparently not at work restocking, even though he is at work restocking. Sure, love that for us. Okay, all of these people are looking at really expensive stuff, which we like. 
Malcolm, come and do some selling. No, we don't need a dazzle. Just some basic selling, okay? Sales, basic sales. Sales, basic sell. Sales, dazzle. There we go. Nice. Okay, Eleanor, honey, move. Because that's where I want to put that stereo that you just restocked. Eleanor, honey. Can we dazzle? Oh, we can't dazzle yet. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'm just going to move that back to there. I'm just going to move that right there. Also, these lights are not in a very opportune place, are they? Can I just... Oh, The Sims 2 music is such a bop. There we go. Okay, sweet. So now there's just a little bit more space kind of everywhere in the store, which I really do like. I think that is fantastic. And then we can basic sell this guy. Um, right, and we just need to rebuy this TV that was over here in a minute. But we're actually <laughs> kind of starting to run out of money right now because nobody is like checking out. Everybody is still just shopping. <laughs> and we actually need to carry quite a bit of ready cash uh, to to make this business run. How it is like checking out right now see that computer that we just restocked cost us like four thousand simoleons so that is actually ridiculous also oh we are not ranked 10 we're actually only ranked seven. Oh, well that's not okay let's go do some more dazzling we need to get ourselves up to rank 10 please come on that'll make it a lot easier to sell all of this stuff too if we can do that um so yeah that would be really good Okay, come on guys, can you all just, like, you don't need all need to buy, like, three TVs. You know what I'm saying? Like, can, can you guys just come and, and check out and stuff? Now we're level eight, sweet. Okay, so, let, oh, should we keep going? Hmm, hmm, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I feel like he would have all of these is the problem. Let's get, let's get more wholesale discount. Let's get more wholesale discounts so we can pay less money to restock all of these ridiculously expensive items that we sell in our store. <laughs> okay, yeah, so because if I were to replace that TV that mysteriously disappeared. Um, also, I want wholesale mode. Hang on. Um, where is wholesale mode? There it is. Yeah, here we go. Like, which... Oh, that's massive. Which TV was that? Was it this one? I feel like it was this one. Can't intersect other objects. Uh-oh. So it thinks there's an object there? Is that what's going on? Well, I just got rid of the wall. And it didn't seem to think there was anything there then. Can I put another TV here? I can. Oh, well. Okay. Sure. Should we just get another one of these TVs then? Or should we sell a tiny little, like, a couple little wall TVs? That could be fun. Like, a good TV to have in the kitchen or in your bedroom so you can watch stuff while you're preparing meals and things. Yeah, let's just put that one in there. Okay, no worries. There we go. All right, now we're really going to need more people to start, like, cashing in and checking out and stuff because... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay, this is fine. Oh, Ivy just gained a star. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, what are you doing, Malcolm? Oh, you are you are just getting a little tired because we have been dazzling all day. Um, okay, can we can we get this guy to take a break? Look at his like yellowness. Ooh, maybe let's send him home for the day. Let's just send him home because Eleanor's here and she can mind the restocking basically. Um, and we don't want him getting too upset. We have Shelby over here who's still doing okay. She's got like, she's got a pretty good mood. She's still pretty green. Oh, why didn't you want to buy the super cool computer, Armin? As if not. Um, let's basic sell. Yeah, we can't, we can't really do any more dazzling. <laughs> oh dear. He didn't like that at all. Um, okay. Can we do some basic selling over here? I'm not sure we can. Sales, basic sell. Sales, basic sell. He doesn't seem particularly impressed at the price of this computer. Buddy, if you want top of the line gaming rig latest setup, this is what you got to pay, all right? Oh, here we go. Now we got some people checking out. I'm too tired to come in right now. Oh, I don't want you to come in right now. What are you talking about, you crazy man? It's fine. Like I said, I think I've got too many like running business mods at the moment, <laughs> to be completely honest. And some of them are conflicting. I might need to sort that out. Eleanor, 
has realized that a lot blah blah blah. She's got a blonde re- bron- blonde what bronze restocking talent badge. Nice. Also, this sim is really cool looking. Christy Schaefer. I love your face, honey. How cute are you? And she's actually kind of like interesting and unique looking, which I also love. I love when my sims actually look a little bit different to one another. Now, luckily, it is Thursday night tonight, which means that um, Malcolm's not going to have to go and open the Club Dante tonight because he is very tired after all of his dazzling. Um, oh, this guy's unhappy because there's nothing here that's cheap. Well, you know what? You come to the Electronic Super Center, buddy. You got to expect to pay, all right? Okay, we're going to go ahead. We're going to close up. Um, I would like everybody to cash out and for us to finish with today's business day. Um, we're also probably going to send Shelby home home are we yeah maybe let's just use the the thing on the wall here let's dismiss her um and then let's go ahead and ring up these customers ourselves because we uh, are you ringing up no ring up the customers ring up the customers oh my god ring up the customer please Please ring up the customer. There we go. Um, yeah, because we're Malcolm Landgrab and we can do that because we have excellent restocking ability. Okay, sweet. So it looks like we had a pretty positive day after overall. We've ended up on 23,000 simoleons. That is pretty good. We did sell off a bunch of the bathroom stuff that we had. So yeah, um, we will we will have like gotten a bit more money from that than we, what we should have. But basically now what I want to do is I just want to finish off just decorating the staff room a little bit we're well, not decorating but just you know filling out the staff room a little bit so we're just gonna get a mini fridge in here because all good staff rooms need a mini fridge we're just going to get a couple of very simple or one I guess very simple counter oh really okay I want to maybe do that do I want to do that or do I want to put it over here yeah, but let's put it over there and let's also just grab a nice little sofa um, that we can have in here as well for our staff. There we go. Just so they can sit down and relax um, and take a load off while they are working. And that is really, really nice. Okay, so now, Malcolm, my dear, you can actually go home. You are very tired. I'm so sorry. It has been a tough day for you. I understand. Oh, my God. Did you just walk in on her? Oh, no, she's in the stall, so it's fine. <laughs> oh gosh okay but yeah like we had a pretty positive day today I'm happy with that I reckon that you know if we can have a couple more days like today went we should have some serious cash monies to um give to Florence Della Rosa all right you guys so Malcolm is just arriving home from his long day at the electronic super center he has done a great job today in, with earning about 10,000 simoleons so we are very proud of him and I'm thinking that what we should do tonight he wants to ask us him on a date so what I'm thinking is that we should ask Cora Townsend over for dinner and we should try to cook her a meal try to just like you know calm her down buy her off do whatever we do whatever we have to do to get her to actually forgive us for apparently standing her up even though that was a total bug and not at all our fault so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Malcolm just come in and freshen up I'm also gonna get him to come in here and deposit um, 10,000 smolins into his bank account I want him earning interest um, as we learned today we have to have a little bit of money in our ready cash to be able to run the electronic super center so I don't want to put more than 10,000 away um, or we won't be able to get through our business day tomorrow um, but yeah, even though we're very tired, um, he wants to go on a date. So I'm, I'm thinking it would be good to invite Cora over, show her the inside of this mansion that she has been stalking all day, show her what she could, you know, have. Oh, we have 42,000 in our bank account. Nice. Um, yeah. And kind of show her what she could have it, were she to, uh, you know, forgive us and maybe want to, want to romance with us. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go ahead and call her up, call, invite her over for a date. Oh my gosh. I just accidentally pressed the video button. How do I make it stop? Go away. No. Okay. Whoopsies. <laughs> just recorded a random little video. Sure. Um, and then we're going to go ahead. We're going to serve dinner. Now Malcolm does not really know how to cook. So that's going to be a little awkward, but I feel like what you cook when you don't know what to cook is pasta. <laughs> right like that's how you that's how you get by when you don't actually really know how to cook is you serve pasta so that's what is he, he that's what he's gonna do he's gonna serve broccoli chicken with pasta Man, no let's do linguine al pesto because it sounds a little bit more fancy um and hopefully she will be impressed with our ability to cook at least something 
Um, she's probably going to arrive before we've even really started. Okay, yes, yeah, she has. She is here already. Sweet. Um, so let's, let's just stop doing that for now. Yeah, okay. And then let's come in here. Let's have a chat with her. And hopefully she, we can just, yeah, get her to calm down and forgive us a little bit. We could admire her a little bit. Um, she does actually want to slow dance with us and be tickled by us. I'm just not sure what we can get away with with her still low-key mad at us. So, yeah, that's not great. We could definitely tell her a joke, though, as well. Um, and then once we've done all of this, we will go ahead and resume cooking our dinner. And hopefully we will actually have a pretty good date. Let's entertain her. Oh, look at this. She wants to get romantic with us. Sweet. Amazing. Okay. Yes, let's come in here. Let's finish making our pasta. They both do want to, well, they did want to dine out. Um, Malcolm wants to right now, but no, no, Malcolm. We're doing a, we're doing a cooking at home. Let's impress the potential girlfriend kind of deal. All right. <laughs> Hopefully she'll come and eat. She's probably in the hot tub. Oh no, she's using the toilet. You want to come and sit down and eat? Yeah. Yeah. You want to eat that, honey? You want to, you want to eat that, honey? You want to, okay, well, you can go in the kitchen and grab a plate if you want. I'm okay with that, to be honest. But yeah, I think this is, oh no, he's face planted in his food, Malcolm. <laughs> Just as I was about to say what a nice date this was. He's like, oh, 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 how embarrassing. Sorry, I've just been working so hard at my electronic super center today. I, I assume you've heard of my electronic super center. Made a, made a killing today. And Cora's just like, oh, oh, really? Oh, that's great. Um, sure. Uh, nice sculptures you have here. And he's like, yes, the, the bust is of Arthur the Great. Arthur Landgrab the first who settled Blue Water Village back in the day and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. She thinks we're really hot, which is good. Um, and we can't actually apologize anymore either. So I'm hoping this means she's actually kind of low-key forgiven us. Beautiful. Okay, so we've managed to get a romantic hug in. Now let's see if we can flirt a little. Oh, she has a crush on us again. Lovely. And then we do actually want to make out and stuff. So maybe we could do just like a little bit of a tender kiss at first. And then we could potentially give her a back rub. You know, just warming things up, warming her up, buttering her up. Just showing her, you know, like what a gentleman we can be when we have a trophy wife to take care of. <laughs> She's also a fortune aspiration sim, which is pretty great. Like these guys could be really good together. I definitely feel um, that, yeah, they could ha actually have like a really good relationship. So yeah. Um, well, apparently we can't actually make out yet because our relationship is not high enough, but now we can, so we're fine. Um, yeah, and I think it would be good if we could make out before we say goodnight, and then we really need to get ourselves to bed because we are going to be so tired for work tomorrow at the Electronic Super Center, which isn't great. Uh, it'd be good to get this up to a great date as well, potentially first. Oh. First time making out with a new girl. Oh, don't use too much tongue, Malcolm. Now, come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I know you're super hungry. Uh, not hungry. Tired, darling. Let's just give her a romantic hug. Okay. I know, sweetie. I know you've had such a long day. I just want you to give her one more hug. And then I know... Oh, well, she's actually hitting on us, which is actually a great sign. Um, I know you want to have a dream date with Cora, and we will lock that want for next time. But for now, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye because we are very tired and we really need to go to bed. Oh, we actually almost got there to dream date as well. Nice. But I think that was, yeah, I think that was a really nice way for Malcolm to end his evening. Um, I definitely feel like Cora... Um, is at least no longer super duper angry with us. <laughs> We've managed to get to best friend relationship status. Oh, that's yeah. Um, which means that we can hopefully uh, fall in love soon and propose to her and make her move in with us, which is what we want. Alrighty guys, it is 5.30 in the morning on a Friday and Mr. Malcolm Landgrab, the absolute stallion that he is, is waking up for the day. He's going to go ahead and wash his hands. Then he's going to come outside and he's going to go for his morning jog. Malcolm definitely likes a bit of a morning jog to keep in shape, keep fit. He knows that, you know, his physical appearance is very important um, to maintain. Oh, we have a rose here from Cora, which is lovely. Yeah, we're going to go ahead, we're going to jog for an hour, get ourselves ready for the day. Oh my gosh, Malcolm, you're so keen because it looks absolutely freezing outside. Uh, we gained interest of 2,400 simoleons today and we gained a body skill point, which is absolutely fantastic. 
Um, that is what we want to hear. But today is actually going to be, oh, why are you making a snowman? Today is going to be a massive, massive day. Obviously it is Friday. So we will be both at the Electronic Supercenter and also at Club Dante. Um, that is just the nature of Malcolm's life right now, where he is trying to capitalize on the Electronic Supercenter and get the most money out of that business that he possibly can, which means he knows he's unfortunately got to be down there. He's got to be working the sales floor. He's got to be, you know, dazzling and charming as much as he can. So yeah, we are going to be down there. And then we're also going to be at Club Dante as well, because yeah, that's just our life right now. And that is, yeah, what we want to achieve is, you know, total domination of this town. So we got to put in the work. <laughs> you got to work hard for the money, Malcolm. But alrighty, as soon as he has finished his cereal, we're going to go ahead. We're going to head down to the Electronic Supercenter. And what I am going to do, you guys, is I'm going to basically just play through the day much the same as I did yesterday. Um, just probably off camera or I'll speed it up for you. And then what I will do is we will play real time down in Club Dante tonight um, because we haven't seen that in this episode yet. So... That is my plan. Hope that is okay with you guys. So yeah, for now, I will see you when we get... Oh, first I'll just move this beautiful rose that, that Cora so thoughtfully left for us. Where can we put this? Can we put it... Yeah, well, let's put it in there. Lovely. Um, yeah, so I'll see you down at the Electronic Supercenter for a... Probably just like a sped up day of business. <laughs> end of the business day and Malcolm is just over here cashing out the last of his customers for a little bit of time there it got pretty hairy we were down at like only having 100 simoleons or thereabouts in the in the old bank account but it looks like we have had a pretty pretty positive day today overall so let's take a look here yes we made 11,000 simoleons of cold hard profit today Oh yes, that is what we like. So now it is time for us to go ahead and drive over to Club Dante where we will be opening up for a Friday night session. We will probably be open till maybe like 3 a.m., maybe 4 a.m. Uh, but we might close at 3 and then it'll probably be like 4 a.m. before everybody is out um, and, and and dealt with and all of that kind of thing. That's kind of like how it is here in my city in Adelaide. Like most of the clubs will close at 3 a.m. and then... Yeah, people are like, like, that's when they lock out, like they stop letting new people in. Um, and then people would like, yeah, to kind of just head home thereafter. But anyway, <laughs> that's total side note. For the purpose of this game, yeah, we're gonna, we're probably gonna be open, yeah, from when we get there until about 3 a.m. and see how we go with running this lot, see if we can make a little bit of money off of it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to. All right, so here we are at my beautifully renovated Club Dante. Oh my gosh, I forgot what a great job I did of like <laughs> renovating this lot. How nice is it? Oh my word. Um, okay, so do we have the automatic buffet thing in here? I thought I did put it in, but it doesn't look like I have it. Hmm, I thought I had, yeah, the commercial buffet thing. Um, now I'm not sure. Um, okay, let's just quickly, let's just get rid of this. Uh, because, yeah, I was under the impression that I put it in. But let's just see if I can figure this out really super quickly. I don't have a lot of faith in myself, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, I can't find what I was thinking of. I know I've got it somewhere. We'll just grab this commercial buffet for now um, and go with that. I, I'm sure, I'm sure that I had, like, 
a different kind of buffet where you could like people paid per plate I'm sure I had that oh my gosh I'm so confused now <laughs> but it looks like our employees have arrived we have this Chandler dude who's our DJ I'm pretty sure uh yep we've got Adrian who is the, our yep our bartender which is great and we've got this guy who I'm pretty sure is assigned to be our janitor at the moment not 100% sure. Let's have a look here. Resign worker. So Adrian is bartender. Corbin is janitor. Yes. And Chandler is the DJ. Okay. So basically all that we need to do is stand here and convince people to come in um, and, and have a good time in our, in our lot. Apparently Malcolm got a huge energy boost when he finished work and got in his car. I think that's a little bit dodgy. Might just put that back down. Maybe about there I think is more reasonable. Maybe like there. He should be pretty tired after his long day already. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. Let's um basic sell to all these people. Oh, she's already decided to come in. Okay, so right now we're business rank level three, which is not very high. We need seven more customer loyalty stars to get up to the next business rank. Something that I would like to actually get for this lot, just quickly while I'm thinking of it, is the, it's called like the customer limit adjuster, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I want to up it a little bit. I want, I want there to be more people who come to this lot uh, all at once. So now I've got to try to find that. Oh boy. It's all right. I found it. Nice. Um, so I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to put it in the staff room, I think. Um, we can pretend it's like a little time clock or something along those lines. Yeah, nice. And then, yeah, so by default, uh, view current settings. Customer limit is three. Oh, no. Okay, so we're going to set customer limit to like, I don't even know. Let's go to like 20 at least. Oh, should I should we go more than 20 or would that just be too much? Should we go 30? 32 customers, 48 customers, the maximum amount we can possibly have. Let's go 32 customers. That's what I want. I want this place to be absolutely packed. I want this place to be absolutely popping. Okay, well, you know what? Actually, actually, let's 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 have a bit of a system here. Let's go for now. Let's go like 22 customers, right? And then when we get up to business, every time we go up a business rank, I can up it one more rung from there. So we have seven more rungs of business rank that we can go. So then I've got one, two, three, four, five more that I can do. Okay, well, that doesn't make sense then. Um, okay, so if I send it to this, then I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Okay, yes. And then once we're at rank level 10, that's when we can have like the maximum amount of guests in our in our club so is he gonna give us money for eating that food he should have given us money for eating that food but it doesn't look like he is malcolm's just over here having a boogie good on you malcolm okay and then right now uh let's just have a look at our current price settings because it seems like people are getting in here really easily so maybe we should up this to like 50 bucks entry um, and then let's see if people are still more than happy to just come in without us really like interacting with them whatsoever. <laughs> I feel like it should be a little more difficult to get people to come in here. Um, at least until we, we sort of up our business rank a little bit more. Oh my gosh, Christy and Gilbert just had a little moment together. We got Brandy broke here. Oh gosh, all sorts of drama could go down at this place. Let's be honest with all of the playable Sims that come here. Because I don't want to ban playable Sims from coming to this lot. Just because I think it's actually really fun if we have like our regular Sims coming here. So yeah. Um, all right, now can I get you to take a break? I can get you to take a break. Okay, Adrian, honey, you can take a break because you are looking a little yellow there in the head. Um, you can go and have some fun. And we will just tend the bar ourselves for a little while. Go and freshen up, buddy. Have something to eat. Take a load off. At least um, this guy, Corbin, is in a good mood. Uh, we're going to have to give Chandler a bit of a break at some stage as well. He can just have a little cute little DJ break. Uh, maybe once Thingamadoodad is back from his his break we could do that oh good everybody's actually quite enjoying the food over here as well which is nice oh now corbin's now corbin is is feeling a little yellow okay well we can give we can give him a break as well this is fine no worries okay where is adrian is he upstairs no rose day is upstairs but i don't know why um okay i've lost adrian i've lost our bartender He's gone. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Uh-oh. Oh, are you just having, sitting down having a meal, Corbin? Y you know what? Sure, buddy. Whatever. <laughs> 
whatever. That's totally fine. We could also do with some food, actually. Maybe we should just grab a plate of turkey for dinner. Um, and then hopefully Adrian will come back and start tending the bar again. Also, it seems like people are still more than happy to pay to get in here with things the way they are at the moment. So it seems like 50 bucks is, is still fine. People are more than happy to come in and enjoy the, the spoils of Club Dante. But how good is this, like, actually having this lot full of people? Like, the, the customer limit adjuster is definitely one of my favorite business mods because it's just nice. And that way you can limit it so that, for example, Florence's little flower store can only have, you know, like, maybe three or four people that come and visit. Um because that's more realistic and then this place can have a lot more people coming and visiting and I just really like that. Also, Bo Broke, you should not be here, young man. You are a teenager. Do I not have teenagers banned from this lot? Oh my god, I just saw Marissa Bendette also. <gasps> stalker! Crazy, creepy stalker lady. Where is my... Oh, do I not actually have one of those, those thingies? Oh, there he is. There's Adrian. So he's feeling a lot better now, clearly. Um, no worries. Okay, maybe we can give our DJ a break next. Um, we'll just get him to take a break and everyone can just go without DJ music for a little while. It's fine. Corbin, honey, you need to stop slacking off. I know that you're like hungry or whatever, but we need you to actually like do your job also. There's dirty plates freaking everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this crowd of people waiting to get in here. It would be cool if, um, if Cora would turn up, but... It doesn't look like she's going to. Also, I like how he wants to hire her as an employee. Oh my gosh. And Wanda Tinker's got a pregnant belly, apparently. Uh, sure. That's totally normal. Okay. Buddy. Do you need to take a break? What are you doing? Why can't we interact with you properly? I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Maybe we should try working as the DJ a little bit. Last time Malcolm tried this, he was not very good. But I feel like it's like after midnight, everyone's super drunk. It doesn't matter how crappy the DJ is, right? Right. <laughs> Plus, there's only one way to get better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yes, Malcolm, buddy. Break it down, honey. At least no one's actually paying attention to you right now. Everyone's just chilling. Yeah, I thought I had the customer selector around here somewhere and had banned teenagers. But apparently I haven't because we're getting teenagers in here. Rebel teenagers on a Friday night. We've got Ivy Koper, Orlando Sentowski. Bo Broke was here. I don't know if he's gone home now. Goodness me. Also, Malcolm, honey, you're going to need to have a coffee. You're tired. Um, Can we just get you to come over here and make the espresso? Just once our DJ is ready to come back. Hey, Ivy's breaking it down to our DJ tunes. Oh, look at this Melba. That's a friend of Tessa Ramirez's. Oh, and we got a loyalty star. Okay, so we only need three more to get to the next business rank. Oh my gosh, it would be so nice if we could actually get there tonight. I do have to say. Oh, Malcolm, no, don't drop your headphones, sweetie. People are not going to like you for that. Oh, and Marissa's here, and that is that. This is when we're gonna make our exit. Okay, nice seeing you, Marissa. Ah, run away! <laughs> She's such a stalker. Yeah, we're just gonna make a coffee just to give us a boost, uh, to get us through, you know, to the end of the night. Oh my gosh, there's so many people up here. Are you what? Are, are any of you gonna play something? Oh, Marissa is. Of course, Marissa is. We can also um you know, set, like, private musicians to entertain up here. Like, what, what might be fun is if one day we just put a grand piano up here and then we just have, have a musician who plays the piano all night. That would be cool. That's another mod. I think that's another sim wardrobe mod. Uh, um, and then, yeah, you could have, like, a private piano playing, like, lounge, essentially. Oh, my God. Wanda, are you okay? Oh, jeez. Okay, she's just got another bump. Whatever. I thought she was, like, having like, a miscarriage or something. <gasps> and I thought, or I thought, like, Malcolm was about to die or something. Oh, my gosh, that was so stressful. Okay, Chandler's back. I don't know where these people go. Maybe they go and sit in my car or something and just, like, chill out for a while while they're on their break. I don't know. <laughs> but he's going to come back and do one final, like, DJ mix or something. Um, that's fine. Just while we, like... Before we close up tonight, sure. <laughs> okay. No, he's playing pool. Okay, never mind. Um, that's fine. But it is almost 3 a.m., which is when I said we were going to close up. We still need two more customer loyalty stars. Maybe we could stay open a little longer. Malcolm's got energy. Our employees are doing okay. I don't know where Corbin is. He's probably actually quit by now, to be honest. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's around because look at all of these damn plates. Holy smokes. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Did he leave? Oh, yeah, no, everyone's leaving. Okay, so we must have it actually automatically set to close it at three. Okay, that's fine. That is actually honestly fine. I don't mind that at all. No worries. Okay, what we're going to do then is we are going to quickly just uh, finish closing up. Um, we are going to quickly clean up all of these plates because apparently our staff suck. And then Malcolm's going to be getting home at literally like 5 a.m. So he is definitely not going to be going into work at the electronic super center. Oh, you're still here, Corbin. Buddy, you can leave. I, I okay, sure, whatever. Let's just let's just come out here, Malcolm, and let's just drive home. But yeah, no, Malcolm is definitely going to be taking tomorrow off the electronic super center because he is going to be tired. But that's fine. That means we can actually do something more interesting with him at home. We might, we might throw a party and we might invite Cora on another date. We'll have to see how we go. Um, and then we will obviously open up the business again tomorrow night. So this is about all I have time for today. I think I've been recording to full way too long as usual. But I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode with Malcolm Landgrab. I really enjoyed playing Malcolm Landgrab this time. I think we did very, very well. We made a lot of money. So that is great. If you did enjoy this episode, don't forget to hit like under this video. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell and stay tuned for lots more Sims content coming out real soon on the channel. I love you guys so very much. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed recently. I love you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.